when the narcissist finally gets what's coming to them. When they finally get their punishment. When they finally get the bad experience that they deserve. The narcissist wronged you in so many ways. They treated you unfairly and unjustly. They treated you in an unacceptable way. They manipulated you. They lied to you. They deceived you. And when you finally started to figure them out, they tried to destroy you. They tried to turn everyone against you. They tried to isolate you so that you had no support. So that no one was there to help you recover from the injuries that they had inflicted upon you. They blamed you for your own abuse. As though you deserved it. As though you were the cause of it. And then they just rode off into the sunset. As though they didn't even care about what would happen to you. Because the truth is, they really don't care about anyone but themselves. They will throw you under the bus. They will put you in an undesirable situation to save themselves. They're constantly in survival mode. And they will do anything it takes to survive. There's no loyalty or devotion. Their needs are always the priority. Which is how they are able to do all of these things to you. Because nothing comes between the narcissist and their convenience. As long as they get what they want, they really don't care about what happens to you. Which is how they can treat you the way that they do and then just leave you. As though you never existed. As though you never meant anything to them. Because they never really cared about you. They were just using you to fulfill their needs. And once they had ran you into the ground. And taken all that you had to give. They were out of there. There are situations where the narcissist does get what's coming to them. They do get their karma. They do get their just desserts. But you may never get to witness it. You may never get to see it with your own eyes. Because narcissists are masters of perception management. They know how to create an orchestration. They know how to plan and coordinate the elements of a situation to produce the desired effect. So you may never know what's really going on with them. But trust and believe that they are going through it. 
they're living in hell every day in their minds. Just remember what they were like when they were with you. They want you to think that they've moved on. And they're so much happier in another situation. But their character doesn't just change overnight. They never take accountability for where they are in life. So they lack the ability to change anything about themselves. They will always be the bitter, angry narcissist that you remember. That's never going to change. Just remember when you first met them. They probably complained about a past relationship or something to do with their family. Narcissists always think that they're the victims. They always think that someone's doing something to them. They always feel like their situation is so much worse than everyone else's. How could someone like that ever be happy? These people are miserable. So not only are they going to get what's coming to them, but they've already been getting it every day of their lives. Nothing is ever good enough for them. They're constantly dissatisfied with something. Just remember how much you did for them. How much of your time, energy and money you invested. And that didn't make them happy. They were still miserable. They were still complaining. But they want you to think that they can just move on and be so much happier without you. As though you were the problem. Because as we know, narcissists do not like to take accountability for where they are in life. They always have to pass the blame onto someone else. And that is one of the reasons why they can never be happy. Because they're always holding someone else responsible for their emotions. Rather than realising that they are the cause of their own situation. It's only when we hold ourselves accountable for where we are in life that we can then change it. When the narcissist finally gets what's coming to them. When they finally get what they deserve. If anything bad happens to them, they're just going to play the victim. They're going to try to blame it on you. As though you are the cause of it. As though you left them without help or support. They act like unruly children who could not take care of themselves. And they expect you to be their parent. While they are the ones who make all of the decisions. While they are the ones that are in control. They want to be able to go and do whatever they want. While you're there to pick up the pieces. So if anything does go wrong, they will try to blame it on you. But in some situations, it can be very difficult for them to pass the blame on to you. Especially if something happened long after they left you. Then they have no choice but to blame it on something else. But you may never be able to witness these situations because they're going to hide it from you. They're going to stay hidden. They have too much pride and arrogance. It's too embarrassing for them to let you know what's really going on with them. 
so they will act like everything's just fine and dandy, even though they're miserable inside. They will act like they're living their best lives. But if you remember how they treated you, you should know that someone like that will never be happy. How someone treats you is a direct reflection of how they feel about themselves. And even when the narcissist leaves you, they're still bitter and resentful. They will hold grudges for the rest of their lives. And that's how you should know that they already get what they deserve. It's just that many people confuse the narcissist's lack of empathy with them being happy. They can't share your experiences, they can't share your pain, but that does not mean that they're happy. That's actually one of the main reasons why they can't be happy. Empathy requires emotional depth. While narcissists have very shallow emotions. They cannot feel what you feel. All they feel is hatred and anger. Envy and jealousy. Because they feel as though they've been treated unfairly. They're always dissatisfied with anything they have. But they don't attribute it to anything within them. They don't realize that their happiness is supposed to come from within. They're always trying to get people to make them happy, but it's just not designed to work that way. Which is why no matter what the narcissist has, they will never be happy. The closest a narcissist can get to experiencing real happiness is by trying to make other people envious or jealous of them. by living vicariously through their experiences. But they cannot experience anything directly. They can only experience it for other people. And even then, they cannot share the positive experience of another person. They can only experience what they know all too well, a reflection of themselves which may often have nothing to do with you or anything that you're experiencing. But if they can trick their minds into thinking that it's something else, well, that's good enough for them. But the narcissist is already getting what they deserve. That's why they live in a fantasy world. That's why they're so concerned with grandiosity because they've abandoned reality. They can't find any satisfaction in everyday life. So although the narcissist may try to impress you and make you think that they've moved on, don't see it as though they've dodged their karma. See it as a cry for help. Because really, they're just looking for an answer. They're looking for something that they're never going to find. Because what they're looking for exists in a place that they're constantly trying to avoid. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, 
my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching at narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.